Lavanya Balal of the Congress Party is also with us. Lavanya, your first reaction to the numbers that we're seeing up on our screens doesn't tell us much right now. Uh, but I can say that, you know, if you just look at the initial trends as of 8.30 a.m., it is neck and neck across the states. Good morning, uh, Vishnu and Radhima both. Um, yes, uh, this is a very exciting day. Of course, uh, the postal ballots do uh, scare us a little bit right now in a couple of states. But uh, we are very, very sure about the way this uh, five state election results will go. And we are quite confident of forming the government in multiple states. Would you, Lavanya, be... Um you say that, but at the same time, the information that we are getting, certainly in the state of Rajasthan, is that both the Congress and the BJP have already made feelers to rebels. Uh, we do know uh, in, in Telangana, there is, uh, I, but this is of course in the case of, of the BRS, that they have apparently booked a five-star hotel. So the point is rebels, smaller parties, others. Do you believe by the end of this day, a couple of hours from now, all political parties, including the Congress, could be making a beeline for them? Uh... Congress is not planning an Operation Hasta, as it is called. You know, Operation Kamala is the trademark of the BJP. Uh, in Telangana, of course, we do not need uh, anyone else. We know independently we are going to form uh, the government there. In other states, if, uh, uh, you know, uh, if people from other parties or independent candidates want to come and join Congress, they are always welcome. Uh, and we won't say no to them. But are we going to poach MLAs from other parties? Absolutely not. That is not how the Congress party functions. Lavanya, another quick question. In uh, Madhya Pradesh, mm -hmm. there's already this huge cutout, uh, which we actually briefly saw of Kamal Nath in your office saying that, look, you know, he's going to be the chief minister, uh, the Congress mm -hmm. party. Aren't you getting ahead of yourselves? Absolutely not. I think the cadre, if you look at uh, the last uh, five or six months, the way the cadre has been very aggressively working and uh, not, you know, usually we are accused of being very laid back and not uh, hungry for success. But that has changed quite a lot among the cadre. And I think this is the cadre's feeling. The cadre is very excited that we are on our toes when we are facing elections. And I think it's their emotions that they're expressing. We are not getting ahead of us. No. Okay.